guys, it's Casey the Frog, and today we are video game heading. Uh, I didn't do any, eh, that's not true, I was going to say I didn't do any hunting all week, last week, but that wouldn't be accurate. Um, I didn't do it during the weekend, but, uh, I just got a little frustrated at the very end of the day, and I was like, you know what, I want to go and have a little fun, and I just remembered that uh, Vintage Stock is doing the sale again. The two, you buy two, get one free sale. So I could hit the game store the vin and two Vintage Stocks. And then maybe hit the other Vintage Stocks at a later date. So, because I know it's today, tomorrow, I think for three or four days. So, that's why I would want to go ahead and go out. It's just uh, I'm just a little frustrated. Plus it was cold today. I don't mind a little cold, but um, I had to use the heater. I was outside today f first time in a while. I don't mind doing that. And I don't mind having the Big time job, dealer. That's all I'm gonna say right there. But uh, yeah, just tired, a little grumpy, but uh, maybe a little shopping therapy. But um, I think tonight, what I want to do uh, after. Monday Night Raw, I'll probably do some more video game, uh, video game, I meant arcade game recordings, I really should probably do some, like, 3DOs and stuff like that, um, I did a Neo Geo short, uh, on my Neo Geo collection, and I'm thinking about doing a second parter where, um, having, showing how, if you have a Neo Geo AES, you could have, uh, play the MVS cartridge. You, that's, MVS cartridge is for the arcade Neo Geo machines. Um, but if you have an adapter, you can play the arcade boards on your Neo Geo, uh, console. So, I'll probably do a short on that. I got some good numbers for the collection for that. I'm happy. I, I was doing a bunch of shorts that I hadn't done it probably in two weeks, give or take. Some people just, that's all they do is a bunch of these shorts. Huh. Allergies still hit me. I probably need to get some allergy pills because um, it's been bothering me the last week or so. So, and like I get a little tickle on the nose. Oh, gosh. It was nice sleeping and resting all weekend. It was nice. Even though, yeah, we had Drew's five-year uh, anniversary for his channel. And, um, God, what else? Um in our reunion show. Hopefully, it kind of helps him want us to do something. I don't expect us going full board like we were, where we were doing each Sunday night and also Tuesday night. I don't see that happening again. I would love to do that with Drew. 
because we had a blast. But the good thing that came out of it, not only I have my own screens, I got my little bit of my own crew. But, um, and it opened up more time. It's about the same amount of time I still, you know, I have, you know, instead of had to deal with Sunday and Tuesday, now I only have to, you know, worry about Wednesday and Friday show, and then, you know, if it's a WWE pay-per-view, I think we're going to start doing reviews on that. Because we hadn't done... I have not done any wrestling-related news at all. Because nothing really important has happened yet. I mean... Really, I mean... Until, you know... WWE's sold or after WrestleMania. Can't wait. I'm pretty sure what we'll do is for WrestleMania, we'll probably have a after show for both nights. And honestly, if you ask me, I think having WrestleMania for two nights is actually a good thing. Well, let's say Saturday show was awesome. Like, set. Like last year, WrestleMania 38, Saturday show was good, was pretty damn good, and revved it up for the next night. So, um, oh, so it made it very good show. So, but some people says, oh, you're only getting half of a WrestleMania. Well, you're getting about three, four hour shows each night. It's not like you're getting two hours each WrestleMania. You're getting a full show each night. And I think people who's sitting in those arenas don't want to be sitting in there for six hours, six, seven hours. Or, yeah, about that amount of time. Because it was starting to get outrageous with the how long WrestleMania was going to last. Because they want everyone to get their shot at WrestleMania. So, um, I like the two nights. So, that's how I feel. I really do. And if they want to merge them, like, even though WWE does this make any more DVDs. I mean, something like that, they should still make DVDs or Blu-rays because, I mean, even the documentaries were great, but they stopped doing that because they were putting everything on the network. So, God forbid something, let's say something happens to WWE, it goes down, and then only people who's gonna have all the WrestleManias would be people who had a DVD recorder recording the shows, because they don't sell the DVDs. I used to have all the WrestleManias on, on DVDs, and I kind of stopped after like 30-something. Because it was just, they were just getting way too many, and it was just, mm. I tell you, between WrestleMania, like, 20 and 2, WrestleMania, and 38, it's been like a blur, quite frankly. Maybe, well, maybe 24 to now. Nah, it's been kind of blur. Like, if you were told me, like, certain WrestleMania, what's the main event? I would, if it's like more of the modern ones, I would have to think about it. So one of the ones I would say I probably 
can tell you automatically from more, uh, more modern is coming up to 12 years, but it was WrestleMania 27, and that was a horrible pay-per-view. That was a horrible WrestleMania. I mean, The Miz retaining the WWE Championship over John Cena. They're probably trying to push The Miz to be a superstar because Cena is already a superstar. But I'm at the game store and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so I got out of the vi first. Just got out of the first vintage stock and the game store. So, um, I'm gonna head to one more and then it'll be that's be it for the night. But, um, I got a couple things. Not a b bunch, but got a couple cool things. Well, I consider it cool. Where are you going? Okay. He's gonna let me in. Oh. Going for it. Dun -dun 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 <laughs> Alright, so um I picked up two things. Really light though. First is a box we remote. Free remote box. I paid only six bucks, that was cool. And then um picked up a Sega Master System game. It's called Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Uh, no manual. That's okay. No biggie. Um, I know I have this at least loose, but, uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't have that in its box. I was pretty sure because I don't remember the artwork before. But I could be wrong. Hopefully, I don't have this boxed, mind you. But, um... Oh, I did I should have turned. Damn it. I'm just so... Mine so fried right now. I'm just really frazzled. So you know what? Screw it. I got Melissa at the house. They're making dinner. So uh, I think I'm just head home. I mean, I can go check the stuff out tomorrow. I'm like I'm tired. I'm beat up. I was cold today. Oh, God, my back. So, I was going to check it out, but screw it. Uh, I don't want to make them wait forever. 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 <laughs> but, um, glad I showed you those two things. Uh, this was definitely a short episode. I'll sh do is I'll show you a bunch of the stuff I took pictures previously that I just never got a chance to post any of them because I um, just didn't get a chance. Go right. Yeah, screw it. Don't. But yeah, I'll go ahead and post those pictures for you guys. I, was, I think most likely I'll probably do it before this. But I'll go ahead and let you guys go. See you. Bye.
Alright guys, so this is day two of video game hunting. Uh, I actually went to one vintage stock, but I just didn't have the energy to really do anything. So today, I'm normally in a whole lot better mood. I got a little bit more energy in me. So, um, I want to go hit two vintage stocks. So, uh, I think I want to go hit... I know the one that's not too close. And then there's another one that's further out, and then I can hit the turnpike head home. And I might travel somewhere else. I don't want to spend too much money since I, uh, gotta pay some. What's fucked? You know what's weird? How come people, but uh, it's you, where they'll drive up, speed up, and then they'll match your speed where you're at so they can coast with you? I hate that shit. It's like they want to watch me or something. But, um, yeah, so I. Yeah, I have a little more energy, but I'm a little tired, but and a little beat up. I did some stupid Monday, I guess. Today is Wednesday, so yeah, Monday, I did some stupid. I punched my toolbox on the side, and still hurt, my hand still hurts two days later. I was just pissed off. And, yeah, it still hurts. I'm still, like, trying to work it out. Popping that finger and trying to rub the knuckle a little bit <laughs> off my right hand. <laughs> like, oh, now I'm just getting over this thing, Pinky, from being hurt really bad. Where, to the point where I, I was installing a chute for what's called a reefer. Is a ridge, ridge, uh, it's has a, it's refrigerated, there we go, trailer. And there's the chute that goes up, and I was pressing my hand in there, and the chute got caught with the drill bit, and it got my pinky real bad to the point where I thought I broke the tip of my finger. It's still a little big, but it's a little swollen still, but maybe I did broke the tip. But a hell of a lot better. It took forever for me to try to cut that fingernail. <laughs> it was hurting pretty damn bad. I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna like, at least hit one minute stock. Hopefully, find something good. Tell you one thing, this hand hurt caused the other hand to feel better. <laughs> so I do believe in hurting something. It will take your mind off something else hurting it. But I just have no luck with my hands lately. Even though me patch my toolbox was a stupid move. But, um, I oh, got a headache. So, uh, hopefully I find something good. I really had no luck at a couple of the vintage stops. And I do have several arcade games, and I've been, uh, arcade gameplays that I've been doing. I can't wait 
for the do more. I think Thursday, at least I know by the weekend, I'll need to do a hell of a lot more of arcade games. I'll probably, I need to do the Mario Kart Wave, the uh, Wave Ford on their Dell DLC. Actually, I played 50 CC. It was not bad. Not bad. But, uh... I don't remember a lot of these tracks. A lot of these are, like, from tour. And I think every once in a while... Like, I know with Wave 3, they put a brand new track on there. But, uh, I know they use a lot from Mario Kart Tour. <sighs> so, it's, new ones are alright. I wonder if they were planning to do not and they test it. It's like these tracks are okay. Because you figure how many tracks they added, it's almost like if they gave you a second, uh, oh wow, I can feel the wind blowing, but, um, like you're getting a second game with all the DLC tracks. You gotta remember, the original DLC from Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, you had a few tracks. I know you had, I think one from Animal Crossing. I know you had one from High, from Legend of Zelda, the High, the High Rules course. And there, I think it was like four courses, give or take. But, uh, so you even have more tracks on Mario Kart Deluxe than you had on the original Mario Kart 8 on the Wii. Even, it only matches if you had the, the DLC until the new D DLC on the Switch. So, yeah, the wind's really blowing today. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what's gonna happen this weekend. I know my tax is ready to be picked up. So, I'll, I know that's one thing I'll have to pick up after I get paid. Hopefully, I'm getting tax return. They didn't say anything. But it was like the last two years I owed money. So hopefully, being a full year in being at the new shop, or being at the shop, that I have some refund. But it's probably because I make too much I owe money. And that sucks. No, you might bust your ass to work up your pay rate and you have to pay the government because you're making money. Right now, at least it's, the weather's been beautiful today. I mean, today it was a little cold at the beginning and then it just got nice. Like right now, it's 63 degrees. I'm thinking it's supposed to be about this or nicer tomorrow. So I'm about to hit the first vintage stop. So if I see anything, I'll report back to you. If not, we'll see. All right. What's weird, I'm at the video game, uh, Vintage Stock. They have all these Tesla charging stations. I, I've never seen so many Teslas 
charging stations in my life. I never, I hardly even seen a car get charged up anywhere. This is outrageous. Alright, so I just got out two vintage stocks. And the first one, I didn't see anything I want. Second one had a bunch of cool stuff. Um, the one with all the Teslas, um, charging stations, even though there's no damn charge, Tesla car dealership around. I can understand, like, a few understandable f for cars to charge up, but I was like, it was weird how many. It was literally, like, Looked like 20 of them went across and, the, and around the pen. So, um, I went inside. Games automatically, I didn't really see anything. So, luckily, I look around and I started to remember about them having the mini belt. So, I was like, ooh, you know what? Today would be a good day to pop on the mini belts. Because they're not going to be there that longer. What's crazy? I swear, like I said before, I think it's the same guy selling his belts off. Because I go anywhere else and it's never the same belt. Because this time I found a blue Universal Championship. I'm like, oh. And it's a pretty good price, too. I think it's... And it's the current one, too. So, I was like... And they both... Both belts look great in person, quite frankly. But they're... Uh, this one was priced for 150 Like the red one was as well. I want it, but I can't. I don't have the money, and I shouldn't pop for it. Because I really don't have the room for it anymore. But, um... So, what I found... I found a couple things. I found... A Game Boy Game & Watch game... That I can do a review on that. I can use my Game Boy... Super Game Boy... So I can play that. So, um... Also... I've picked up another one of these mini arcade things for cheaper. It was because it was used. I got a Miss Pac-Man one. A little Miss Pac-Man one. <laughs> Again. <laughs> a mini one. And I picked up a arcade uh, border that goes around the monitor. I never seen those in the wild. Never. The only thing that comes close is the marquees, like the Neo Geo one I have. The two of the Neo Geo ones, and I remember about that. So I was like, and then I also picked up. A virtual headset. A cheap one for five bucks. And the person thought it was for a cell phone or even a tablet. You could probably use a tablet. I know what this one was made for. This one was made for the Switch. So you can actually have a fucking head strap for the Switch. So you can play... Um, the virtual games, like uh, you can play Breath of the Wild with your strap to your head, and you can play the Mario uh, Odyssey games on there too. Levels. So I saw that. I was like, hell fucking no. So um, I know. I think is. I'm pretty sure there's something else, but. It's like Nintendo fucked up with the Labo. Instead of having 
where you can just have a headset. And it's like, oh, you use a freaking, uh, hold the freaking headset to your face. I'm like, uh, I was not going to tell them at all that what it was really for, because then I'll be paying more for it. They had no idea what it was. Like I said, they, what they told me was for a cell phone or for a, uh, it's big enough for you can put a tablet in it, but the way it's made, it was for the Switch. It wasn't like, oh, it was 100% made for the Switch. So, I was happy. I got that for $5, too. So, I would show you all the stuff right now, but I figure what I could do. I could wait until I get home, show you what I got with everything combined, and, um... have it overall because I'm done for the night so I just thought that was awesome I just want to tell you about that real quick and uh, it was cool to see another belt but I was like oh I would love to get it but I was about to do something that it'd be kind of productive I don't want to do this but I'm going to need to do this So, um, God, I can feel the wind really blowing me around, but I'm going to let you guys go. I'll see you guys when I get to the house show you everything. Like I said, it'd be a hell of a lot easier than showing you the, the border of a arcade unit thing. But... I didn't want to just show it and, like, have you guys have a hard time looking at it. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the midst. second to you. It'll be a few minutes from me, so I'll talk to you. What up, guys? I'm back at the house. I had changed a little bit, and, um, so let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff. Let me show you the biggest reason I couldn't do it in the car. You'll see why in a second, because, I mean, I already told you, but it's a giant border that goes around the monitor for an arcade game. Paid 50 for this one, but uh, I got something for free, but I think I'm going to put it against this wall, probably, I don't know, maybe put it right there or something. Eh... Or something over there. Maybe we'll see would be a good spot for it. But I was looking at the sticker. It says G Gondomania is the arcade game. I thought for a second maybe it was like Gauntlet. But they don't ride on these things for Gauntlet. So... I had no idea, but I never see these borders for the arcades anywhere. So, eh, why not? Especially after I got something for free with on top of it. Um. So, yes, <laughs> here's the headset that I use for Switch. The VR headset. You know what? Talk about that. I'll give me two. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So I got my switch. Like the back end, it's clear. You can see the insides. I have a clear uh, joystick. And same thing with this one, but I wanted more of the same uh, look, but. Right now, my Joy-Con is not working great, so I'm probably in, uh, looking for another one. So, I want to show you guys the difference between this first, uh, the one I just picked up. Well, actually, you know what? First, I'll show you 
How do I know it's for the switch? You see he has those two vents. You got the two vents right here. And um that made room for the vent right there for for those. And then look at this. If you go under, you can plug your switch. So this is 100% for the switch. Like I said, it's awesome to have something like that for the... Bam! Just like that. Look. Like I said, it holds... Uh, op keeps the it open. Has, you can still charge it. All the vents are uh, open. And you can... Hell a lot easier to play with a freaking head strap. Than... Uh, I'll show you the Labo version. Oh my god. So I knew when I looked at when I saw these vents right here and looked down, it's like, oh, this is for the switch. I was gonna test it for the switch, especially for five bucks, why not? So now let's show you the Nintendo Labo version. Here we go. See it's cardboard. So you had to literally make this freaking thing. Oh right. So, you slip the switch in here, somehow. Alright, there it goes. Hadn't put it in here in a long, long time. Probably since I replaced that, uh, the backing. So, it's in there. So, uh, you see no head strap should have had head strap you figure oh those are for the head strap no it's I don't know what that's for there forgot so um I believe what you do the switch is like that you plug that in right there you plug this one right here so you go like this you know how fun is this? You go like, oh, yeah, it's fun for a little bit, but I rather have the head rest, uh, the head strap, than going like, oh, and it feels harder too, quite frankly. So this was a bad idea from Nintendo. They should have had at least a head strap. So the, people were making third parties one like this so I'm definitely gonna play some uh Mario and Zelda with this so that was pretty cool I wanted to show you the difference <laughs> it was hilarious and the uh, next thing I saw I was like oh you know what wanted to pick up this because one I have the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, um, trying to grab it without it falling out, the Super Nintendo S Super Game Boy, if I can remember, oh, it's right there, well, I'll pull it out later on, but I can plug it into this and play the Game & Watch on Game Boy. I mean, I did Game uh, Game Watch, I think, 3, Gallery 3, on that's on the Switch right now. So, for 12 bucks for this, and I can do a review. Why not? I mean, I got a couple other Nintendo, no, uh, Game Boy games. Like, got Mario Land. I got the... This one that has uh, two arcade games. Then I got Tetris, no, and I already did that version. Yeah, see here's Tetris. I have a bad label. Uh, Wario Land. These are ones I had for a while. 
We got Mario Land 2. Oh, this is a um, multi cart. I paid eight bucks for this. It has 82 games in one. This is a pirate game or a bootleg. Then I got Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. And I got Paperboy. We got to try that one out. So. I'm definitely going to play Game & Watch for you guys. So. Um. And here's the Miss Pac-Man. Uh. This is from my arcade. And it looks like I need to put battery. Oh, it takes a uh, charger in here. But I bet it needs a. I uh, was wondering. Oh, has a volume back here. You can barely see it. You can use a um, micro USB cord right down here. But you could use headset up here, or you can put batteries down here. Trying to see where you can turn it on. Probably once you hit start, probably. But it's more of a um. Oh. A note. I just noticed. That's a button. I would never thought that was a button. <laughs> so uh, what's weird? They have a little screw for the button. For, not for the Bowery flap. But this is more of a, not a wall piece, but I really. When I saw this, I was like, oh, it's alright. I'm getting. I was like, I'm gonna get the headset. I think the headset I paid separately, but the Game Watch game, that Miss Pac Man arcade thing, and, uh,. The border of the arcade thing was you buy two get one free so the Game Boy game was free and then I paid five bucks for the switch VR headset and then just because it's right here I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys I was not gonna do this before because you guys already seen it but I got where in the world is Carmen San Diego for twelve uh for thirteen bucks. So I pretty sure I don't have this uh completed. But I might not I might or might not. Let me show you another one. I saw this came in Trying to get it's a Nintendo. There we go, a Nintendo Wii controller box. So I just saw this came into the store. I was like, just they had had a ton of boxes. If you guys ever watch me do in store, uh, when I go in the store, you see all the ton a uh, ton of the console boxes. So and a lot of times I'll scroll see what they have and I'll. That's where I got several from them. So, um, like I picked up, I think that channel F box. I got several boxes from them. So, uh, yes. So, I'm going to double check right now. See if what I got. I'm going to throw that in there. Oh, that's right. Uh, see if I have. Oh, there it is. I was correct. I didn't. I had it loose. Carmen San Diego. And you see, I paid three dollars for that. That's a hell of a deal. So that's now. Well, let's look at the cartridge.
you know, just because uh, I don't want to deal peeling the sticker off, I'll keep, I'll go ahead and resell this copy. Too bad I didn't have the manual, but I'm happy to have another Sega Master system game in its case. The back of it. I love the artwork. It, I know it looks so generic with the white graphic paper kind of look, but that's actually kind of cool. It kind of like, obviously, you know, they made it look more badass for the Sega Genesis, but yeah, this is now a double. So, um, I'll hold this stuff for a later date so I can. I'm like, because we're right in the middle of the week, so I don't know what I'm going to be getting. Maybe this will be it. I mean, I didn't get Jack during last week. I was trying to be more careful, but the only reason why I did anything is because it was had a um, sale going on. So, that is it. I'll see you guys later. See ya. Bye.